So this is Dave. He is a lifelong New Yorker and retired tour guy who never goes to the end. Just doesn't do that. Captain Gregory, would you repeat that for me? I do solemnly swear or affirm. I do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support, protect, and defend. That I will support, protect, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the state of Florida. And the state of Florida. That I am duly qualified to hold office. That I am duly qualified to hold office. Under the Constitution of the state. Under the Constitution of the state. And that I will well and faithfully. That I will well and faithfully perform the duties of treasure. I'm sorry, of Trailer States Park and Recreational District seat number two. And will faithfully perform the duties of Trailer Estates Park and Recreation <clears throat> District trustee seat two. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Lori. Okay. Do again, please. Nope. Thank you. I'll try to stand, but if I don't make it, I want the wheelchair behind me. If you can't, that's not a problem. Lori Dalton. I, Would Lori Dalton. Repeat after me. I do solemnly swear or affirm. I do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support, protect, and defend. That I will support, protect, and defend. The Constitution of the Government of the United States. The Constitution of the Government of the United States. And the State of Florida. And the State of Florida. That I am duly qualified to hold office. That I am duly qualified to hold office. Under the Constitution of the State. Under the Constitution of the State. And that I will well. And that I will well. And faithfully perform. And faithfully perform. The duties of Trailer States Park and Recreational District, seat number six. 
trailer states park and the the the, the, st the sentence just before that i will oh. duly perform the duties uh, of i will and well will and well faithfully faithfully perform the duties of perform the duties of trailer, trailer states, states park, park and recreation, recreation district. trustee trustee seat, seat number six six thank so help you yeah, so help you god thank you <laughs> lewis we'll get through these damn things <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to be a problem child. <laughs> Lewis Nichols, please Thanks, repeat John. repeat after me. I do solemnly swear or affirm. I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support, protect, and defend. That I will support, protect, and defend the Constitution. I'm sorry, the Constitution and Government of the United States. The Constitution and Government of the United States. Please read. Wow. And, and that the state and the state of Florida. And the state of Florida. That I am duly qualified to hold office. That I'm duly qualified to hold office. Under the Constitution of the state. Under the Constitution of the state. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Perform the duties. Perform the duties. Of Trailer States Park and Recreation District. Of Taylor States Park and Recreation District. Seat number four. Seat number four. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that one was better. Yeah. Okay. At this time, we'll open up the election for the position of chairman of the board of trustees. Uh, are there any nominations for the chairperson of the board of trustees? I nominate Dwayne. I'll second that. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, I close the nominations for the chairman of the board of trustees. All in favor of Approving Dwayne Crotter as the chairperson of the Board of Trustees, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. It's it. <laughs> I don't have to hit the gavel. No. Okay. Um, we will now conduct the elections for the first vice chairman of the Board of Trustees. Are there any nominations? Nominate Russell McAllister. I'll second that. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, I close the nominations for the first vice chair. You don't have uh, to ask me if I want to do it. No, you're <laughs> it. <laughs> All those in favor of approving Russell McAllister as the first vice chair, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. Okay. Uh, we'll now conduct the elections for the second vice chair. Chairman, are there any nom <clears throat> nominations for the second vice chair? I'll nominate Lewis Nichols. I'll second that. I kind of have a problem with that. Uh, nothing against mm -hmm. that. I just, having the treasurer or the current position of the treasurer being the second vice chair might be a little conflict of interest. Um, there, there's actually uh, nothing explicit in our, in our rules about having separate uh, people. So it's okay to do it. However, I, I share your, your concerns that it might be better to look at someone new if, if, uh, if that's the will of uh, Mr. Nichols. That looks fine with me. And with that, I wouldn't mind nominating Kathy Gregory as I'll the second. second. Can you well, can ask you her? Get to ask her. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with it. That a girl. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean we we withdrew? We the, withdrew the Louis Lewis Nichols and nominated um, Kathy Gregory. Okay. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving Kathy Gregory as the second vice chair, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. We'll now conduct the elections for the treasurer 
No, I just did. No, no, no. Treasurer. Treasurer. Yeah. Good. You're fine. Board of trustees. Uh, are there any nominations for the treasurer board of trustees? Uh, I'll nominate those. And I second. Are there any other nominations for the treasurer board of trustees? Hearing none, I close the nominations for the treasurer position of board of trustees. All those in favor of approving uh, Lewis Nichols, the uh, treasurer's position? Aye. Please aye. say aye. Aye. Those opposed, please say nay. Motion is passed. <clears throat> now conduct the elections for the Secretary Board of Trustees. Are there any nominations for the Secretary Board of Trustees? I nominate Lori Dalton. I'll second it. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none. I'll close the nominations for the Secretary Board of Trustees. All those in favor of approving Lori Dalton as the uh, Secretary of Board of Trustees, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, with that, as chairperson, I also have to appoint the uh, special positions and with the consent of the board, I'd like to appoint the treasure barn as a standing committee. Does the board appro approve that? Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Does the board approve the this recommendation? Yes. 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 I don't think I have to take a roll call for that, but that's okay. Um, with the uh, standing committee the treasure barn committee will consist of uh, barbara sewell as the chairperson ruth copens as the vice uh, chairperson linda briggle as the secretary and mary trotter as the treasurer and with that i'd also like to point kathy as the liaison uh, to the treasure barn <clears throat> And as the web administrator, uh, I'd like to appoint Mr. Lee Morris and Lori Dalton as co, uh, especially with the new uh, website being processed, uh, to share responsibilities in that. For the storage lot manager, I don't see him, uh, but I'd like to appoint Mr. Tim Gregory as the storage lot manager. You verified he's all right with it. Great. Uh, the dock master, I'd like to have uh, Mr. Todd Lombardi. And the kitchen manager is Tella, Tella yeah, <laughs> Terry Ellenberger. Missed it by that much. <laughs> when he went over the appointment, he missed the appointments for the for the uh, trustees, the other trustees. He's coming back to that. You can have mine if you want. How about that? We're okay with that. Yeah. Okay, you always want to do when you do that. <laughs> really, it's okay. No, the part that's got me is I had it all down, but just missing. Oh. Anyway, um, the appointments uh, for uh, health and welfare, I'd like to keep that as um, Cindy O'Brien. The Seasonal Recreation Trustee, uh, Dottie, dear Wester, please. Uh, seasonal? No, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dottie. Did you just do a court with <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> she was done. Stay there. She's done. Go on. <laughs> okay, the seasonal is Kathy Gregory. <laughs> I'm sorry, the continuum of rec is Doggy Deer Wester, please. The North trustee is uh, Russell McAllister. The uh, South is Rodney Smith. And the maintenance trustee is Mr. Todd Lombardi. And who else did I leave out? Nope, you got everybody. <laughs> yep. That's why I snagged the piece of paper back. <laughs> it's 
right there. <laughs> My pages are out of order. You even got them numbered. Okay, if that's it, at this time, I'm going to adjourn the organizational meeting at 946. Congratulations to all the trustees and the appointees. Okay, with that, we'll open up the uh, regular board workshop meeting for January 2nd, 2024 at 947 uh, here in Mark's Hall. Uh, Lori, would you do the roll call again, please? Sure. Lori Dalton here. Dottie Deerwester. Present. Kathy Gregory. Present. Pat Lombardi. Present. Russell McAllister. Present. Louis Nichols. Present. Cindy O'Brien. Present on Zoom. Uh, Rod Smith. Present. Dwayne Trotter. Present. Lee Morris. Present. Okay, we'll open up the public comments to anything that's on the workshop item for three minutes, please. Do I have anybody on Zoom that would like to make a public comment? Hearing none, I'm closing public comment. We'll go into the report of the standing committee for the treasure barn. Our Sewell 6608 Dakota Street. We had a good Saturday. We made $878. So our total is $28,972.38. And we have a meeting on Thursday. And the other thing... Sometime I would just like clarification as to our cart and trailer. If we can get one or if you want us to pay for it or exactly what. It, there's no sense of urgency right now. It's working. So just sometime. Mr. Morris. Mr. Chair. Um, Barb, we've looked into it. Unfortunately, being the holidays, the prices were just a little bit on the crazy side. Okay. So as long as your cart is still running a little bit, it is, and I, I know I know uh, you're still having some hardships with it, but we'll revisit it uh, just as soon as we can in January, okay. which I think. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do we have any clubs and organizations that would like to make an announcement? Dwayne, <clears throat> this is Gordon on Zoom. Great. Okay, Gordon Elton, 1804, Ohio, reporting for the Veterans Club. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone. And uh, the Veterans Club will hold their next meeting on Thursday the 4th at 10 a.m. in the Pelican Room. And our planning, our activities primarily will focus on planning for the flag retirement, which will be uh, March 19th at the Pavilion. Uh, time to be uh, established a little bit later. We will be selling tickets, uh, dates to be decided for the food like we did last year. So we're hoping everybody put that on their calendar for May 19th uh, for the evening or late afternoon at the pavilion. Thank you. Gordon, did you say May 19th or March 19th? I might have said May, but I meant March 19th. Okay, Mar March 19th. All right, thank you. Right, and you do have that on the schedule already, I believe. Oh, okay. You'll want to check the calendar, make sure, because it awesome. sounded Greek to my head, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I'll double check the calendar. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, do I have any other clubs or organizations that like to make a, an announcement? Hearing none, closing the clubs and organizations will move into the workshop agenda items. Uh, the first item we have is PP23, the outdoor storage lot rules, which is myself. Um, it's not attached to the uh, workshop. Uh, we don't have to vote on that, but I do have it uh, included on the board meeting uh, topic, but... Uh, we did discuss that in the December 18th, mm -hmm. and the uh, corrections that we had yeah. in there were changed or well, have been made, 
and have been included in the uh, board meeting agenda topics. But if there's anything that you have uh, identified, please let me know now so we can discuss it or go over that in the uh, board meeting. I think we pretty well covered all the changes in there from the December so, uh, 19th. One question on item number 10. We talked about or I asked a question at the last board meeting if we were going to charge a processing fee for uh, refunds. And no. No. Okay. That was one of the things I had to check and that was taken out. Any other uh, items, suggestions, changes? Okay, with that, we'll move on to the next one, which is the uh, create the rules and regs for Part F, special rules governing the signage, which is Lori. Um, it, this was just, uh, we had talked about it at the December 18th meeting, and this was just moving the thoughts forward and putting it into rules and regs. I thought the best way, place to do it is to just start a new Part F, which would be special rules governing signage and then enumerated what was discussed and and whatnot about the signage um, for both uh, special event signage and political signage. We pretty well kicked that around in the uh, December 18th meeting also. I think you pretty well covered uh, everything we had discussed. Right. I This is just the first time I had enumerated it this way. Um, and just, did I miss anything? Did anybody see anything that you know, needed tweaking was more the, the reason we were showing it like this again. Item item B says just says banners or posters are approved, approved by the board, approved by chairman, approved by a office. I mean approves. it's just banners or posters are approved. We're the they're approved per this this rule. Well, maybe. specifically by one person or that's one what person. I'm asking. I'm, do, oh, do I have to take my approved. banner in and say, does this need to or is this okay or or yeah i'm just trying to decide maybe what we're saying the there. maybe we want to change approved to acceptable i mean or allowed that's i think the confusing, allowed i like that allowed. maybe the confusing part also is that Agreed. if we're only talking about we're only talking about outside banners or posters right Because you, you say on E, no sponsor banners or posters are allowed inside any buildings. Right. Then do we need B? <laughs> or maybe you could put him in an A banner or a poster. Yeah, maybe it needs to be an A banner or poster, maximum size. Yeah, just an idea. And and so just eliminate. Your description. I, I like that. Does everybody else like that thought? So eliminating. B? We're going to eliminate B. We're going to move banner, poster, maximum size, and then B will become no yard signs and all, so on down the line. Okay. So is, is E driven just by not wanting to make any attachments to the wall? That part of it. I'm sorry, in, say that again. Inside is, is part E. So no no sponsor banners or posters allowed inside any building. Is that specifically driven because we didn't want any attachments to the wall? It it's also driven by the fact that they can have flyers on the table that advertises because they're indoors, they don't have to worry about the wind blowing and stuff. If we try to say you have to have handouts at your outdoor events, all we're gonna do is wind up with yeah, fly, okay. with outdoor stuff. Blown in everybody's yards. I remember that. I just, okay. I just wanted to be refreshed why we said you couldn't have any banners inside. That was my thought. Along that same line, um, I think the emphasis was not to have it attached to the walls. Mm -hmm. So I think that that E should be changed um, to say attached to the walls because there are freestanding banners, there are freestanding mm -hmm. posters. And so by saying this, you're at least you're allowing them inside. You're allowing them inside, but right. they could be on a stand. They could be, mm -hmm. you know, different ways of doing that and not Tape be attached. Table or table or table table. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. So I, I think that it says no sponsor banners or posters allowed inside any trailer estate building attached to the walls. 
could be freestanding or something like that. Okay, so we're, we're adding attached to the walls <clears throat> at the end of E. Well, I would include wow. could be freestanding. There are ways of doing Period. that. Period, could be, could be freestanding. Maybe as wording, uh, mm -hmm. sponsor banners or posters. Sponsored freestanding banners or poster are allowed inside trailer estates mm -hmm. buildings. You want yeah, to make a suggestion here? Yeah, thank you. E should be, uh, it should read, uh, sponsor banners or posters may not be attached to the walls. Yeah. Inside yeah, any, you for any trailer in. estates building. Yeah. I, I so we're scrubbing everything else, and E is simply becoming a sponsor, banner, uh, or posters may not be attached to the walls. Mm -hmm. Inside any trailer estates building. Inside. <clears throat> Okay, so everything else is scrubbed. Building or facility. Um, I think building should be sufficient. You want to be careful because outside may come into play here. Facility. Yeah. Okay. So there was discussion about banners at like bocce ball and horseshoes mm -hmm. and all of that. There is no technical inside uh, because there's no walls. Right. So that means that they still would be able to hang a banner um, around the activity area. That would be okay. Right? Right. Them, they don't have any other choice. Right. They right. just can't be facing out to the street. Right. right. Okay, anything else? Hearing none, let's jump off into the uh, recurring monthly expenses approval. Um, Lewis? Oh, before we do that, oh. the political signage. That, yeah, that was that, all part of that. Okay. Go well, ahead. what? Um, 10 feet tall. A ban uh, signage, a political sign can be 10 feet tall. I know we talked about this. That seems from height Go is ten feet. Flags. The top of it can't be well, more it than ten signs. feet. Doesn't say flags. It says signs. So that means that to me, somebody could put up a big whatever sign ten feet on the side of their house. I mean, is that really what it means? You're still limited to the size to of six square feet in this, but it can't. The top of it can't be any higher than ten feet. That's the way max, I read it. Max, right, correct. Top. So you could put one on your carport if it wasn't more than 10 feet high. Right. Mm -hmm. But it can and be more than six square feet in total right, size. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yep. So the total yeah. size is what keeps it uh, yeah. normal. And if 10 you, feet height would be the if you were flying it on a flag or something like that. This was copied from Manatee County. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Correct. <clears throat> Thank you, Lee. He did all the research. I know. Mm -hmm. That clarified? Anything else? Yeah, just, yeah. Okay, anything else with that? <clears throat> Hearing none, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, recurring monthly expense approvals. Louis? So every year we typically look at what we're allowed to spend without board approval for the, for the, the uh, ongoing daily business of the park. And... Um, the second page has the list of all the things we have, insurance payments and bonds, payroll and payroll expenses, trash removal, utility bills, cable TV, sales tax payments, uh, deposits for, or refunds for deposits, for uh, FOB, fold slips, legal expenses up to $3,500, which is more than we used to do. I think we used to do $2,500. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, fund transfers, accounting expenses, and loan payments. I, I just have one question in the top half. Um, in the past, we've enumerated mm -hmm. payroll expenses, saying net pay, mm -hmm. Social Security, federal tax deductions, retirement pay, 
and other benefits. Do we have to enumerate them or not? I, I don't. I don't think so. Okay, they're, that's fine. They're, they're those are those expenses. Expenses. It's, just, it's yeah. paperwork. Yeah. You know. Okay, yep. that's fine. Mm -hmm. And then also additional expense approvals, uh, election expenses, administrative expenses up to $3,500, free trimming, uh, trustee responsibilities into re recreation trustee and continuing recreation trustees up to $2,000, maintenance trustee, trustee refer to PP1E. Uh, the one noted difference is the administrative expenses before was a lower amount. Yeah. And what, um, why why the increase because it's going from 1500 to 3500 well, well I can, I, on that. this was me i i did that um there has to be some delegation of responsibility back to the park manager to be able to purchase things and uh at 1500 dollars, i go through that pretty quickly uh in expenses when we were looking for staff members or anything else bought padlocks the other day for 800 dollars. so $1,500 uh, is just not adequate for for the park manager to conduct the business of the park. I, I'm, I just have a little bit of concern in the fact that $3,500 means that I'm authorizing $36,000 plus, you can help me out with that, probably $42,000 a year that I don't look at, I don't know, I don't see it going out, and I don't know that that that's fiscally responsible on my part. I understand you have to do keys. I get that. That that doesn't. But to say without I also without do review, Amazon ordering for office supplies. A lot. I I don't think thirty six thousand dollars a year and one point eight million dollar budget is excessive. How how many times do you know of at this present time <clears throat> that you? gone to that 3500 since you've been probably i have i haven't gone to that 3500 okay. so so you've never really maxed that out it's just a leeway to be able to have the cash if needed well i i think there has to be some authorization to the park manager to be able to spend right. funds right and at up to this point there hasn't been. there hasn't been right so we you know I, I think that i waited until this point in time so you can see that I'm not going to run away and um, buy a new car, a new car mm -hmm. um, or, or uh, exercise my ability, you know, uh, frivolously. Mm -hmm. So I believe that that's where that is, but I do have to have some authorization to be able to spend, you know, out of our, our budgeting uh, to, uh, you know, to uh, operate the park without approaching mm -hmm. the board for every little thing. And I do think that a lot of this stuff is, you know, it's more of the of the sum total as opposed to one item right. being thirty five hundred dollars. Is is it unreasonable to just ask um, in your uh, it, like once a month what you what you spent what you, what you spent money on the big mm -hmm. chunks? I don't want to know that you bought paper clips. Mm -hmm. I couldn't care less about the paper clips because they're dollar ninety nine. Um, is it unreasonable to ask that? that we get some sort of an accounting that says $800 in locks and whatever like that. Is that terribly unreasonable? Hi. Well, <laughs> what, what is the administrative uh, account uh, balance or total? There is there. I, I think that uh, I don't, I don't I, know. I, offhand. I thought there the was budget amount, the budget amount. I don't have it in front of me. I can get it, but, but I'm going to go. But well, these, one thing but that, that is at 36. What he would spend, if anything he would spend, would be in the detailed mm -hmm. items under administrative, right. under the administrative exactly. account that okay. we could so see exactly. how much we right. spend on that okay. so that we could review yeah. that mm -hmm. on a monthly basis or periodic, whatever right. we okay. wanted to do. Yeah. All right. But I do agree with Mr. Morris. So by the next meeting, mm -hmm. I will uh, delegate authority to that position. Uh, mm -hmm. For a dollar amount, if if you guys are approved thirty five hundred, then I'll make sure that that's done. I, I also think be... that these are not just administrative items; these yeah, go back yeah. towards maintenance and and other mm -hmm. things too. Yeah, um, I'd be more than happy to put, uh, and I have been putting in my park manager report to you mm -hmm. the major accounting. I'd rather not bring it uh, to a that's board because it just yeah. takes that's... the board meetings longer. 
that that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That, that makes sense. Typically shown on the park. I, I do. I do, report. and I right. have yes. listed uh, okay. any uh, any um, not outstanding, but anything that's out of the ordinary in my park manager report to you mm -hmm. uh, that has been spent. So I again, um, I think that there's got to be a little bit of uh, uh, give and take here when it comes to uh, being able to spend money. Mm -hmm. I would also oh. presume that there's conversation between the chairman of the board and the park manager mm -hmm. when there's an expense that's larger than normal. Mm -hmm. I would expect that to occur. Yeah. Am I correct? Yep, it does. Okay. Yes, it does. Or or another trustee. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. that, yeah. That's their area of responsibility, correct? Right. right. We, we, still, we still have to sign checks. You right. Know, he, exactly. It's not like he can... So you get to see what's being spent. Yeah, you still anyway. get to look at what, you know, what yeah. goes out of here every month. And if anybody wants to sign checks, yeah. there's a day there's, available. Yeah, Thursdays. <laughs> uh, if we're done with that, I'd like to bring up about the rec trustee and continue rec trustee up to $2,000. I'm fine with this, but the band that played for New Year's was $2,500. And I just found that out uh, when we were signing the checks. And, so. and all this is public record. Mm -hmm. Contracts are in the book. But I'd be, be, I'd be fine with bringing up these, but I book a year in advance. I'll be booking Christmas and New Year in the next few months. So I'm fine with bringing it up, but it will delay booking. Kathy, I have a question for you. Sure. You, you have done a good job in getting the bands ahead of time. And you have probably got your bands set up for this next year. Oh, no. No, you with don't? This, but not next. They're okay. not under contract yet. <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, this season, I mean, for instance, we have an Irish family coming in um, in March and they were $2,200. This is not unheard of for entertainment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I am fine with bringing to the board before I book. <laughs> I'm fine with that. So if, if 2000 is my limit, I'm more than fine with that. And I really am. It makes no difference to me. It doesn't. I can live with that. Um the season's probably going to change a little bit next year anyway. If you know everything's going up, why aren't we? Well, it doesn't make any difference. No. And that, to me. that was my fault. I did not recognize no. that, that the bands were, were at that level. So yeah. I do think that that should be amended at least to 2,500. Would that be satisfactory? It, it makes no difference to me. What it doesn't. How, okay. how much to keep to have to bring it to the board to let you make your decision and yeah. do your job? I mean, these are, these are, these are rarities. The average band. Um, has been the highest. It's been fifteen hundred, but when you come to New Year, mm -hmm. it's a four-hour um, contract set. They charge a thousand more, literally. K Kathy, yeah. what what hap What happens if you find a band you want for New Year's Eve, and you can't get them booked because you can't commit to the dollars yeah. until you come to a board meeting mm -hmm. and after April, our board meetings are going to be one a month. You know, I don't sure. want to tie, I don't want to tie yeah. your hands and I don't want to lose a good band that you have that would be mm -hmm. a, a good fit and reasonable and all of that mm -hmm. because you don't have the dollars approved in advance for. I mean, it's, I mean, it's up to the board. It makes no difference to me. I will, I will book next season before we go to one meetings a month. So we should lower I this. I booked a year in advance. We should lower this to 1500. And no, 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 no. <laughs> quick. Louie, when you book them, you pay a deposit. I do. You don't pay the whole 2500 Oh, no. Front. So is it, unless you're booking them four of them in one month going forward, does it, is it restricted? Well, is this, is this monthly? It doesn't say monthly. That, that was going to be my It question. says per. To me, I read it as per. per if it's you know. monthly, then I'll be coming every month. Mm -hmm. because I can just tell you right now in January, <laughs> yeah. I'll do, let me take December. Um, there were two Saturday night dances, roughly that's $900 for two. And then Christmas was 1500 and New Year was 25. So that's one month of expenditures just for the bands. Okay. I, I see no reason why not just to keep this at 2500 Per raise it to twenty five. Yeah, mm -hmm. I and didn't then, know if it specify was per event or what. 
So that's different things there. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Chair, just, may I? The, the bottom part for additional expense approvals was not based on a monthly expenditure. It was based on a per item expenditure. Okay. And the check that we that we uh, issued to the to the band uh, after two hundred oh, was a two hundred dollar deposit, correct? Mm -hmm. And then the check was written for twenty three hundred to pay the band uh, in full. So this needs to be raised to twenty five hundred dollars, and I think that should be sufficient per item. Uh, if it's if it's over twenty five hundred dollars. Um, then for entertainment, then it probably should be should. something that comes the before board. the board. All right. I agree. So if we if we modify that to twenty five hundred, that should be sufficient. And also, um, that's twenty five hundred each for the continuing rack. That's and correct. The that's correct. Because it implies it's mm -hmm. both. Both. Yeah. So it that's should say right. each. Sure. Mm hmm. Do we, do we want to separate separate seasonal rec? Let's not separate it. How about we just put up to twenty five hundred dollars each? Each, each, yeah. That's only fair because I, you know, we don't want Kathy stealing all the continuing recs money. <laughs> and please feel free to, you know, <laughs> I'd be happy to give you an event or two. I have a, I have a question on the uh, maintenance on the uh, PP one E five and six. It says, uh, five says uh, that Todd can approve up to $5,000 between Todd and Bill. And on six, they can approve up to $10,000 without coming to the board for any budget. Is that stuff that's planned that we would approve it's, prior no, to that no, in the board no, meeting? What, it, what it's saying is if the uh, contract is going to be exceed ten thousand dollars. They have to go out and secure three bids. Right, right. Anything under that for five thousand, he has the authority to. They would still bring a major it. expense. If to it was the going board. to be over ten thousand, anything under stuff, that yeah. ten thousand, they yeah. would bring it through the board to. Yeah, and get you, you pretty much, Gene. I bring most stuff to the board, anyways. But it's, it's always well, been that, and, and that's exactly yeah. and that's what it says. Building and repairs. The one is purchase. Right. And yes, I understand. Okay. And, and item six is what it says too is uh, and present to the board of trustees, so it's covered right. that way. Thank you. That's what I was looking at. Yeah, I could have left it open for you because I went there and read it again too. Okay. So the changes that we've made on there is the recreational trustee and continuing rec is uh, twenty five hundred dollars per each. each. Up to twenty five hundred dollars, twenty five hundred dollars per, per item, each. Per item so, so I should say, if, so does this become an official document? It should say per item. I should say we shouldn't have the confusion down the road if it was per month or per item or whatever. I was going to add per event. Okay, per thank you. Do you want me to add per event up here in the title? I would do per item as opposed per to item. event. Because mm -hmm, all right. So on the on the um. For the uh, continuing rec, I'll just per event, okay, and leave it there. Okay, so, but uh, but like the administration, it's per item, right? Is that what we said? It's total. No, it's total. It's total. For what? For total the month or it doesn't per month or you month. Just yeah. talk about was it per month or per item? Oh, on the on the administrative yeah. expenses. Yeah, it should be per month. Your call. I think it should be per month. I'm Period. fine with that. Mm -hmm. Well, the heading at the very top of the document is recurring monthly expense approvals. Yeah. yeah. And then additional expense approvals, I would have expected that that was monthly uh, expense. No. But Just take out no. the question, put in month, and be done with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Simple. So you want additional monthly expense approvals? Additional. No, the mm -hmm. no, it should read as it is, additional expense approvals. And then if you want to administrative expenses up That's to $3,500 right. per month. Per month. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Got it. Like an How much does an election cost? 30. That can run from yeah. 4000 to 6500 to $10,000. $10, $10, $10, $10, wow. Depending on. I know. And then up at the legal expenses, that would be per incident or per check. Basically. For monthly for invoice, month. generally. That's yeah. per month also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that, that is specified as a monthly reoccurring. Yeah, those top, yeah. Top. Okay. It, 
well, you're told me if I'm out of school here, but we're still hourly with the legal. Is that right? It's that's a whole different topic if we ever want to go to retainer, I would assume. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, that, that. That'll come back to the board if it's going to go from hourly to retainer. Okay. And so far, our hourly hadn't exceeded uh, no, what we generally did. It's gone. It's pretty much looked Plus, like we planned that it was going to yeah. hurt for a couple of months and then the last mm -hmm. month was 150 bucks. You know, it's, it's dropped off. Yeah. I mean, basically, we were doing a lot of things that yeah. caused I me. Mean, we were doing term changes and a lot yeah. of, you know, referendums. So these are large legal things. Uh, but um, generally, the hourly rate is the way to go in this case. Mm -hmm. This year should be less than last year for sure. That's what happened. I right. can't, Thank you, can't predict. No. Yeah. You might have a lawsuit that pops up in there. Same on. Sorry, I know it was a lot back, but it was in front of me there. Okay, any other uh, discussion with that? Okay, with that, we'll jump into the informational report from the trustees. No, yeah. you got, no, you got one more. You got, yeah. got one more oh, thing on there. Two more. Yeah. Two more. Right. Two more. Two more. Oh, I've only oh, got one more. One more. No. We have one more. The violation report comes later. Yeah, it just mine's out of order. Okay, the seawall assessment, assessment prepayment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's we're getting happens. ready. Um, just want to review. There's a couple of attachments here. Um, when we did the bond, we had discussed and we noted it in the minutes started to, um, from yep, our meeting. Bad. Uh, At the end go? of the violations. It, it was put in there wrong. He got put in Give wrong. Him just yeah. a second. He's got to find it. At the what end of the he violations. Has, he's got it. He's got yeah. it. Kathy, do you have it? There you go. Uh -huh. I've got it. Okay. Yeah. Everybody else got it? Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. So in our um, July 25th, 2022 meeting, we discussed prepayment uh, opportunities for the seawall assessment. And um, during the public heat hearing, we, we talked about, uh, Mary stated that the first year, every lot will have the full amount, then in year two, and again in three, year three, property owners will receive an individual letter offering the prepayment option. And that's what we intend to do, is offer that second option to prepay this year. And that's also, um, it is prescribed in resolution 2022-02 that the board has to authorize that. And so that's the reason we're bringing this for discussion and to the board of directors, uh, board of trustees meeting. So we can uh, approve that motion to offer that opportunity a second time. And that happens in uh, April and May of that payment will be due. So you're just workshopping this and letting us know. Just letting, you, bring letting you know that before we bring the motion that to approve that prepayment, that, that, that it's what we mm -hmm. agreed to and put in our resolution that we plan to do it for two years, but we have to authorize it, this, that second opportunity. Are we going to go to three years? No. Not unless you make me. <laughs> what we, what we percentage is paid now? One it. and two for sure. Right. One and the third was a possible option. Mm -hmm. The other thing I, I wanted to ask is in the the something from the bank, mm -hmm. as I recall, the minimum has to be 25000 Are we going to get $25,000 worth of interest? It was from it, it was in the resolution in there. that it mentioned twenty five thousand, but I can't imagine we won't. I mean, there was a pretty there was a there was so many that did it was, the first time, so I yeah. didn't I was I, that's what I was gonna ask. Do we have a do we know what percentage is already paid off in full? Yeah, I don't have it in front of me, but it was a lot. It was mm -hmm. like it was like 70, 60, almost it was almost, between fifty almost, and sixty percent. Yeah, it was over half paid paid it off. Well, then, then when a, we send out a letter, you say that this will be the last opportunity. Oh, yeah. I right. think you're gonna get it easily. Yeah, I think easily you're going to get 25000 Okay. I just wondered if we had a contingency plan on what we were going to do if we don't get that 25000 Well, I, I think we may need to put something into the uh, into our letter that we need at least a minimum participation in order to pay the minimum $25,000 yeah. to the bank. Yeah. Well, they're, I mean, not, if... they're not going to accept anything below. But 25000 probably is somewhere around... Um, 25, property, 20, 25, 25 properties. 20, yeah. it, it, it's going to be like around 900 bucks. 
a yeah. property. So we're looking so at a lot. 28 people should be the yeah. minimum, but I believe that should be relatively easy to achieve. Yeah. But, but if you're you right, don't, what are you going to do? Then we're going to have to refund. But right. you, already, you already told everybody you have two years to do yeah. this. That's uh, going to be the problem. Well, it's, but it's in the resolution that it's a minimum. I believe that you, I, well, and that's exactly it. You approved a resolution that says that, yeah. uh, that the uh, you're going to make it two years, but the bank requirements are twenty five thousand dollars. There's not much you can do about that mm -hmm. if it doesn't achieve mm -hmm. the twenty five thousand dollars in the second payment. Well, you've got to have at least twenty five thousand dollars in order to pay off on the loan, but that twenty five thousand dollars sets in an account, or less than twenty five thousand dollars sets in account drawing interest on it. Correct? Mm. Because it comes to the park. It yeah, doesn't but, go anyplace else. Yeah, but, it's yeah, like but not, you're, you're looking at yeah, a month or two of interest, which is not going to be really anything that's going to be. Um, no. Now we 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 may be able. I mean, it it doesn't really say, you know, that we must have enough residents wanting to prepay at least twenty five thousand dollars a month. I just think you're going to have to probably give yourself out on the letter that. Yeah. And, yeah. and we may have to if we don't. But mm. that twenty five, twenty eight people are needed once we get the amount payoff amount mm -hmm. then we're going to need to put on a, a disclaimer on the bottom that you're going to require at least this yeah. many people in order to, to mm -hmm. be able to uh subscribe to it yeah well, I don't you're not going to know until you actually put it i don't out think there. it's going to be an issue i think i don't either I, you mean that if I we will... didn't get the 28 people to sign up to make the twenty five thousand dollars, we wouldn't offer it that, uh, that we couldn't pay that's what i'm saying because you told them last time you'd have two years right. to do it but we yeah, don't think break your offer. Yeah, no, you yeah. offer. What yeah. it's saying is go ahead and make the offer. Yeah, put yeah. it out there, and then with the disclaimer that says if we do not if get, you do not get it, twenty-eight or, people or whatever yeah, that amount then is, it's paying, then we'll have to. Then we'll have the terms to of the loan. We can't just we can't just dictate new terms for the loan. Yeah. You know, down the you know, down the road now. Well, you can't pay if you, they don't want it. Mm. You can't do the twenty-five. They don't. They yeah. don't. The bank doesn't care. Yeah, you, I, they only want their twenty-five. I'm in agreement with Lee that that I, I don't I have very little concern about getting twenty five thousand dollars and we got six hundred thousand the first try and I will yeah, put the really disclaimer in and, you know it's, I th I think that the amount of interest that's saved over the course of the loan uh, it's mind you it's less the second uh, yeah. time but it's still significant savings over the long term. Mm -hmm overpaying that yearly over the 15 years with the first time payments that have already been offered. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. How about this? How, how many properties change hands over the year? Oh. Because, because half of them are going to pay the assessment off probably based on the first year. People have asked me about it that are buying properties that they can, if they'll get a chance to pay it off. Well, I, I think that, that at least you've, you've, uh, You've made it so that you have said that you're going to offer it in year two, and it must be it must mm -hmm. be offered. You have to offer. This yeah. just authorizes uh, the treasurer to begin that mm -hmm. uh, process awesome. and get those letters out. And we will put something on the bottom about the twenty five thousand dollar minimum. But mm -hmm. again, I'm not really seeing that we're going to have a problem. Yeah. Okay. So, so for clarification, the letter that would go out would notify resident or owners about this prepayment option. But it'd be the second year, right? Mm -hmm. To do that. If they're if they need 25, 28 properties, for example, to meet the twenty-five thousand dollar minimum, how would you know that until people paid? You won't. We're not. You don't you won't. You don't. So if they pay, they make their prepayment, then what? I mean, you can't take that back. Well, we can. Yeah, you can. No, they're it. they've made the payment. No, we're going to no, tell they them. They pay it to the park. So they pay it to the, the park. It's not paid okay, to the park. Okay, it goes to the park. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. So then they would they would be refunded that? They would be yeah. refunded back if we did not meet the minimum. Okay. We're going to hold them in an account. We'll hold all the checks mm -hmm. in the account. And then if we have to refund them, we refund them. Correct. So that something to that effect might be included in the letter as well. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. people wouldn't know. Yeah. What's going to happen? Like I said, we're going to we're going to include a disclaimer I mean, I that has that information in it. And we also have that payment. we have a, a, an did. option other than to offer the second payment because we said we were going to do that. And there are some people that were waiting just to see how it went. Mm -hmm. We are offering before we paid it, yeah. and I'm planning on doing it. So mm -hmm. if you don't do it to me, I'm not going to be a very happy camper. 
<clears throat> that's not what we're saying. We're okay. saying we're no. going to go out and offer we're it, gonna but offer we're going to put a disclaimer in there that we need at least X amount of people mm -hmm. based on the payment amount in order to uh, prescribe. If we don't meet the minimum per the requirements of the of the, uh, the loan bank, contract, uh, yeah. contract, contract, there's nothing we can do. We can't right. force them to take it. So you yeah. might have waited long enough to where if the bank, we don't get enough, the bank's not going to accept it. Yeah. And you cannot. Yeah, but we can't. You weren't told that last year. Yeah. That's what and I'm it, saying. It, it, this was clarified. Well, I think year. there was a misunderstanding on that, that the, uh, that the payment to the bank had to be a minimum of 25000 I don't think there was any. So that's no, saying it's, that it's right if we don't get $25,000 paid in the office, that the people that held off a year are getting screwed. Well, well I, but, yeah, they had, yeah, but they Chair, had the chance to pay. Please. In the public hearing, in the public hearing, the minutes that were reflected from the mm -hmm. public hearing right here. stated that our current treasurer at that time, uh, Mary, uh, stated, mm -hmm. Uh, that the first year, uh, uh, first year every lot will have the full amount. Then in year two and again in year th or year three, property owners will receive individual letters offering the prepayment option. She noted that we must have enough residents wanting to prepay mm -hmm. to apply at least twenty five thousand dollars to the loan. Mm -hmm. So this is not something that has not been discussed in a public uh, forum, mm -hmm. especially at the public hearing, which was required. Right. So I think that the board certainly has done their due diligence in, in getting that information out to the public. Again, we're we're not we're we're going to make every effort in order to get enough people to prescribe to make twenty five thousand. And uh, again, I don't really think that's going to be a problem with the amount of people that are going to be required. Probably twenty eight ish uh, to do that. Uh, but uh, if if something does happen where we're not going to get that. Uh, that participation, then we have to have the out because the bank's not going to accept that money under 25K. Well, I think in the letter that goes out, we need to make sure that it's clear. If we don't get $25,000, you aren't going to have the opportunity to do the prepayment. That has that to be is, very, that very is, clear that is to people. And there are a lot of people that will have a, well, hopefully it, it would be an incentive for people to do it but we just got to make sure that because everybody mm -hmm. was thinking that after last year that we would have the opportunity to do it in year two and weren't thinking about the minimum payment of $25,000 to the bank. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll, I'll add this. If there's a lot of people we're waiting, it's not going to be a problem. Right. Yeah. Sure. Right. I think we should probably cross. We'll, we'll put the disclaimer in yep. there and it will be crystal clear. Mm -hmm. And then we'll cross that bridge if we don't make that. Uh, we'll start early, so and we'll and we'll certainly promote it, and then uh, we will keep the board informed as to how many people are subscribing to that, and let you know the numbers uh, at a board meeting so or, the, or on my park manager report, whichever. So the procedure would be: once you receive your letter, you can come and make your prepayment in the office. Yeah, mm -hmm. and if 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 we don't get the twenty five thousand dollars, then you'd be refunded your prepayment. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none. Okay. Now, can I go to the informational report <laughs> of the yeah. trustees? Dottie, we'll start off with you. Okay. Well, Happy New Year, everybody. Um, those who attended the, the park New Year's Eve event, I hope you had a great time. I have a report, several different reports. Uh, bingo, uh, in December, through December, they had $3,607 revenue with a payout of $3,667. Wow. And there were 373 players. Mm -hmm. So wow. it continues to, to have a lot of participation. Our next coffee break will be January 20th, which is a Saturday. And the potluck will start in January. And I don't, I have my phone turned off, so I wouldn't look at the internet. So I don't have the calendar, but I think it's the third Saturday, uh, Tuesday. Just didn't write down the date. And I'm working on planning for the summer activities as well. And one of the, the changes I'm trying to, I'm working on is to, Include our summer activities to be potlucks because food brings people together. And I think that's the key thing about 
the summer activities is there's a lot of folks who live here, but they kind of stay in their home and it will bring them out to mingle with other residents who are here during the summer. So we're working on that. Um, I have a question for the board. I think there are some activities in the park that don't necessarily need to be uh, board sponsored. I think they can be community events such as the Christmas dinner. That's a community event uh, put together by residents of the community. If there are activities like that, are we able to provide some financial support from my budget towards that, but it's not a trustee or a board event? Can we do that? And where does it say we can't do that? I think it has to be a board or a park sponsored event to Money. to put out any money right. yeah park sponsor. and to where it's park written sponsor. i'll have to check i i, okay. I like off that. the top i don't mm -hmm. remember okay. it wouldn't be the, the person spending it would not be um authorized to spend it a right. and yeah. then b you know we're not really sure where that money goes where all the trustees mm -hmm. have to provide a full accounting right. for every every well, penny that they spend my thinking is that when uh, if if there if it was possible that's exactly what I would get beforehand is who's the committee, who's on the committee, what's their plan. It's not just give money to something that's well, not actually. Why don't you have a club uh, donate the money for that event and use the club's monies to do that versus. Well, that's up that's, to the that's club. That's what's being done. Yeah. Well, she said Christmas dinner. Right. The clubs are supporting the Christmas dinner yeah. um, to bring the, the cost of the, the ticket prices right. down. Right. And she's saying she'd like. To to see, can we park, donate? Can the park and donate? There's legalities that. involved yeah, with we can't. So. Okay. Well, there is, there is no ability for us as a governmental entity to donate money. We are not able to donate. Correct. Or in any way, shape, or anything. Form. Yeah. Okay. So I would like to see it's whatever. That's, that's one of that's right? one of our Florida statutes. I that's a Florida to, statute. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. You cannot donate yeah, uh, tax dollars. Yeah, it's a Florida statute. You can look at. Okay. Well. I still want to know I'll, where. I'll find it. Okay. All right. So that was it. Thank you. Okay. Rodney? Okay. Um, not much going on right now. There's a bunch of people coming back to the park. Uh, just a reminder that uh, there's a limitation on how long you can leave a boat or a trailer or whatever setting at your place. And if you bring one and you're going to keep it on your property, you need to make sure that it's underneath your carport and follow all the regulations that we have. If you've got guests coming in and are parking in the, the park lane parking lot, make sure that you get your uh, parking permit ahead of time so that uh, you're legal. Even if you come in on the weekend, uh, hopefully if you come in, somebody comes in on the weekend, they know ahead of time that somebody can get the parking permit for them. So things are, are looking good. Uh, if you're coming back, check your properties, may need to power wash may need to clean up some uh, weeds, that kind of thing. So make sure you uh, get that done as soon as possible. That's it. Great. Uh, Cindy, can you hear me? <clears throat> yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Give your report, please. Okay. Um, first of all, I just want to thank people who's reached out to me. It still impresses me what a caring community we have at Trailer Estates. And also, um, I want to remind people that the line dancing is canceled until Charco calls me back. She's had, she's not feeling well, so she canceled her line dancing classes until further notice. And I'll send an email to um, Lori and to the office about 732 on that one. Um, and also, One Blood's coming January 25th from 8 to 2. That'll be our first blood drive that we have. And um, I'll get with Bill and uh, just make sure everything's set up for the parking and stuff there. When I get back on Saturday, I'll talk to him on Monday about that. Great. Thank you. Cindy, I, I believe yeah. that uh, the calendar and uh, 732 has been updated to indicate that line dance was canceled until further notice. Okay. I got an email from somebody and it could have been a little bit older email. So uh, thank you, Lori. I appreciate that. You're welcome. I'll, I'll double check that for you since it's easier for me to get to 732 than you. 
Okay, cool. All okay, right. Kathy. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, since the last meeting, this is what's occurred. Uh, we had a New Year's Eve party. Um, 300 tickets were printed. And at some time we sold out, but that's a really long story. Um, <laughs> um, ticket sales began on December 1st, believe it or not. And the residents had six times to purchase tickets between post office, bingo, dances, and at, at the uh, first um, Hobby Club Bazaar. We had 29 telephone orders for tickets. We only had 11 last year. Most of them were from residents, believe it or not. <laughs> um, the budget for this event was $3,500. The band was $2,500. The remaining funds were used for decorations, door prizes, refreshments, band food, et cetera. We had 32 door prizes, and many of them, I'm, I'm very grateful for, were donated, so which would defray the cost on that. Um, now comes the numbers. The revenue is $3,416 for this event. Uh, my goal was to, I have two goals for these events, to pay the band off, which we did, and then to, to meet the budget. Almost made it. Um, we took in, which can, that night, we took in 665 at the door. And we only had two phone orders that did not show up that night. We have tons of cancellations, mainly from residents due to phone orders. Um, I have to thank people, so I'm just gonna say this as quickly as I can. Uh, for the folks that came Sunday morning to help set up, you know who you are, so thank you very much. Some of you are sitting right up here with me. Um, all the decorators that came to make the hall look really, really nice. Um, the six door volunteers that did that lovely duty to Terry, who always does refreshments, and people that helped me out all night when sitting right here. Um, but I have to give a huge shout out to one person who I didn't know who it was until really today, and that's Marcy. Um, when we left the hall that night, we left it pretty much intact, and it was a mess. The next day, I had the hall reserved. And to my utter surprise, when we came in the next day, all the tablecloths had been taken off the tables. And all the, the horns and the hats we had were put into a tub. The trash had been kind of contained. Now, it was Marcy who did that because she was stuck here till 1.30 until the band packed up and left. Wow. So I, I thanked her personally, but I wanted to recognize her as part of the board meeting for, for doing all that because that... You have no idea how much I appreciated that. Now, looking ahead, we have two big things coming up. Our first showtime Saturday is this Saturday, January 6th. Rich Wilson will be entertaining. He was here before. He's very good. Doors open at 6. Event starts at 7. The big change, we're charging $5 at the door for showtime Saturday nights. So please have your fobs and please, please bring your money, please. And in case you don't know what's coming, we have a golf cart poker run scheduled for Friday, January 12th. Mm -hmm. Beginning at noon, goes to four. Um, registration begins tomorrow. Goes through Wednesday through Friday um, from, 11, from 11 to 1.30 each day, we will have three registration tables set up. Um, it's max participation is 300. And when we hit it, we're done. There's no more exceeding. And it's $10. And for that, you get a one hand of poker, a hot dog meal, and raffle tickets. The, um, the poker run will have seven stops. Where they are is going to be a surprise till the day of the poker run. So we're keeping it a secret. And then after the run, we're having a party in the large hall. We will have a DJ. Uh, and people can come. Pack the hall, please. We're gonna, you, you, can, you can buy a hot dog meal. 
we'll announce the poker hand winners, and we just want it to be a fun event for the entire community. That's the goal of all this. So you can buy a meal at the, mm-hmm. when you come. Hot dog, probably cold song, whatever Terry and I can come up with. And then we have a dance coming up on Saturday, January 13th. Soundwave will be coming back. Still need a few clubs or groups to volunteer for the dances and showtime. And I'm planning for next season already. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, please let me know. I really want your ideas because this is, we're doing this for you all. Okay. So that's it. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Todd? All right. Um, let's start talking about the projects that I'm working on right now. The uh, back fence is uh, very actively getting done. They say they're going to be done this week. I think that's a little optimistic, but <laughs> let's hope. Uh, you know, right now they've, they've got, they're down to the last quarter of the fence or so, and uh, it's looking pretty good. We've managed to push it as far back off of the roads as we can. So hopefully the trash trucks and the UPS and the FedEx trucks and construction trucks going around there don't hit, hit the fence. Um, there's only one one place where we've got a little bit of a, an issue as far as uh, close to the road. And I, I don't believe it'll be a, be a problem. So just have to play it by ear. And uh, if residents do see somebody that hits the fence, let me know right away. We can get on it sooner the better. But it is looking real good, and uh, they plan on being done this week, and uh, let's just hope they get it done. Uh, the dock repairs. Uh, we've got one dock still damaged from the hurricane. Um, have not got the quotes back yet for that. And with the holidays and everything, I'm hoping to get all those this week and uh, get that happening pretty quick. Uh, stage curtains uh, should be in the end of this month um, and, and installed, so you'll be seeing another change, and we'll finally be able to put that, that one to, to rest. Um, AD access to the pool is another one we're working on. Uh, concrete uh, will be the first project to, with that. That should be starting towards the end of this month, also. Uh, don't have a confirmed date on it yet. And then uh, one other thing I want to talk about are the the boater classes for the for the marina. Um, don't have a whole lot of sign up on the the boater safety class um, or the uh, or the emergency captain or the GPS class at this point. We got a couple months on on those except the this boater safety class. That is very important um, for people to learn how to run their boats, basically. Um, to be safe out there, to make sure you get back and, and all your participants on your boat get, get back to the docks safely. Uh, so I hi- highly recommend it. It also gives you a big savings on your on your boating insurance. Um, and then even another one that's more important is the, the boater safety inspection, which is completely free. Um, that's on the 13th. It does all, all of these do require you to sign up in the office um, and Hopefully some some more down there. Right now we've got I think it was six or seven boats signed up for the boater safety inspection. And real good thing keep you from get, when you get pulled over, save you a lot of time on the water so you can enjoy your day. Um, and I guess that's it. Great, thank you, Russell. Really, the only thing that I've got to report on is I want to thank everybody who's working on their violations and everything. And to let people know that you you can still go on the agendas uh, for the board meetings and stuff, and you can look at the violation summary um, and see your neighbors and and yourself if if it need be, and uh, see what the violation is and be able to look everything up. Other than that, everything's starting to look pretty good. We still have four uh, coming up this January that'll go to the finding committee, but other than that. Everything's looking good, and, and uh, as long as we can get out and get everybody to understand, it's time to start cleaning things up. Like Rod said, power washing and cleaning, uh, everything will look pretty good. There are a lot of boats that are staying in people's yards, but uh, that can be remedy. And uh, if you want to see who all those are, just go on the agenda and look up the violations. You can see your neighbor. That's it. I have, a, I have a question. There's a meeting this month for the violation committee. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that is when? Uh, uh, whatever. I was gonna, it's on the 18th, yes. but I was going to bring it up in yeah. my oh, okay. report. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Lewis. Morning, everyone. Um, 
We have uh, completed our last payroll with iSolve, the payroll service we used to use, and it went off uh, better than some of their other <laughs> payrolls. So we are done with them except for uh, getting our year-end documents. And um, we're ready to roll for our first payroll, which the payday you said is the 18th, Lee. Correct. That'll be the first one we'll do in-house. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, Kristen and uh, uh, Barbara from Tripar, who's lent a hand at us getting our payroll set up. And they uh, they slugged through a lot of, lot of detail to get it set up. And uh, once they're up to speed, probably we'll train TJ and myself for backup. So we have a, you know, if uh, Kristen wants to go on vacation, we can pay everyone still. Um, then, as we discussed earlier, the uh, one topic ahead of me is to prepare the prepayment letter. And Lee and I will be working together on that and uh, make sure that everything's in order for that second opportunity. And then the other uh, main thing on my plate is the deposits coming in to segregate them into um what money is assessment, what money is operating. And one comment I would make on that is, I know uh, Treasurer Chandler went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Manatee County about why can't we have a second line on the tax bill mm -hmm. for our assessment. And I think I, after seeing what it takes to, to ferret this out when the deposit comes in, I'm not convinced I don't want to try that fight again with them. There's room on the, on the trim notice in the tax bill. I think I want to revisit that after this tax season with them because it would make it a lot simpler. For one thing, residents could see, you know, what's what on, on the tax bills. When people mm -hmm. are purchasing properties, I'm getting calls from residents and it's fine, but they want to know if the assessment's paid off. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that, that that can be showed, but if the more if more numbers are shown, it's more obvious if it's paid off or not. If there's no if there's no assessment <clears throat> bill that's been paid off. It's empty. So I'd really like to take that up with Manatee County after this tax, uh, tax season for clarity for the residents. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it a try. That's it for me. Okay, Lori. All right. <clears throat> um, first, I'd like to start out by mm -hmm. uh, passing out the assumed reservations for seasonal rec, continuing rec, health and welfare, mm -hmm. and treasure. Um, these are starting May 1st through 2024 through April 30th, 2025. And I need to have at least every form that I give to you returned to me. Even if the, the item doesn't exist anymore, please note that on the form and return it to me. Watch your dates and times. Um, these are based on last year's reservations. And I'd like to have these back by our next board meeting because I have to book the trustee forms before I can do clubs, groups, and organizations. Um, I appreciate your help with this. Louie, these are the treasures. Those are yours. Can you pass these down to Kathy, please? Um, can you pass these to Daddy, please? And uh, Cindy, I'll keep yours in the office. When you're back, let me know and I'll give you yours. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, and then I've updated the notary block on PP26 application for prospective purchase or title transfer to be 2024. Um, and then at the chairman's request, made changes to the bylaws to reference the reference now matches the agenda for public input. Um, and I've updated all the trustees' duties to remove the 26 from the meetings because we're not going to be have to be having 26 meetings in 2024. Um, Remember that I've moved Rummy Cube to the Activity Center craft room every Tuesday. They'll remain in Mark's Hall on Thursdays. And uh, we're preparing the new website and we'll hopefully be live before our next board meeting. Um, Lee and I had talked about an 18th go live date, but that's a meeting date. Might not be the, any, at any rate, sorry, that just popped into my head. Um, the 16th, and then the 16th is a meeting date. The 16th. Right. Okay. All right. Um, we'll keep our old uh, website current until the conversion. I've been able to keep up with that. Um, oh, I, I, the, 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 I'm sorry to interrupt. The enforcement meeting is on the uh, 18th, 18th is what you're thinking. Okay. And so that won't, because we, you'll be in the enforcement. We should still be okay. We should. Case. Okay. All right. Lots of meetings. Yeah. Um, 
the users will still access the site at trailerstates.com. So somewhere on or about that the 18th, you we think you're going to go into the website and it's going to look totally different and that'll you'll be accessing our new website. So it's just going to be for you, the user, you're just going to see a switch flip. One day it's this and one day it's that. Um, so shouldn't we're looking forward to it. That's everything I've got. Lori, I've got a question. You need these back by the next meeting? If you can. All right. Remember what you did last year? Yeah. You said at that time you were doing showtimes on Thursday. So you just booked every Thursday for a showtime. And then you, when you got your acts booked, then we took some off. But you reserved all the Thursdays. Okay. Same thing. If you're going between if you're doing saturdays between dances and showtimes reserve all the sat all the saturdays and then you can tell me what we're doing what you're going to give back that sort of thing but at least i know the worst case scenario what you want and then i can work on resident reservations around it so what is the drop dead date that i have because this is what i did last year i booked and then i did this this pushes booking so far ahead. Okay. How um, when, when do you get your booking done? February, March. All right. I mean, to be honest. What, what happens if 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 you make me wait until February or March, mm -hmm. I can't book anything else until you get your reservations in because your reservations bump other folks. You're a trustee. And I understand that and it happens, mm -hmm. but I don't want to do it. I don't want somebody to go to the calendar and go, oh, cool. I can get Saturday, um, eight, uh, February 14th, a uh, large hall isn't being used. I'm going to book it. And I don't have a reservation from you, so I book it. And then you get your reservation in and you go, nope, I'm bumping you. So if you could give me some sort of a, a general, you don't have to be in granite, but a general, this is worst case scenario, this is what I want. And then we'll delete the ones, okay. as you know, in February and March. That way, I won't book anybody else in something you want until after we know, you know, what you're really going to use. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay. That, so, so yes, if, if you could give me your best guess by um, the next board meeting, that'd be awesome. And then we'll go from there. Come, come see me and we'll go through it and see if I can help okay. ease that pain at all. Because a lot of it really depends on what happens this season. Right. Like poker run is going to depend upon what happens in a week or, you know, and so a lot of this is iffy. Well, it's, it's just yeah. like um, the Vegas night stuff mm -hmm. where we booked Vegas night. Right. I put it on the calendar and then it turned out that it wasn't, it wasn't going to work. So it got taken off the calendar. That's fine. Then the next year, but you had that, I had that time and space reserved for you okay. if it was a go. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. cool. Anybody else questions about them? Well, no, I don't you. have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say comments. I said questions. <laughs> that slipped out of his mouth. Okay. Uh, the only thing I'd like to comment is I wish everybody in Trailer Estates a happy and prosperous New Year. And I want to thank each and every one of the board members for the support that you gave me last year. And I hope I get the same support again this year. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think you've all done a very fine job in, in your position, so can't ask for a better crew. Thank you very much. Mr. Morris. Um, Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, I just wanted to uh, make one mention. Uh, switching payroll from ISOL not only stopped some of the headaches from the mistakes that they made, which was out of last, uh, out of last year, I believe there were six payrolls that were correct. Uh, wow. from them mm -hmm. that uh, didn't require. But the bigger thing here is that it saves us $5,000 a year mm -hmm. by going in-house. And uh, a lot of that is uh, our uh, treasurer is doing, so we thank you, uh, uh, Trustee uh, Lewis. Um, we're contact. We're trying to get a date together for the Red Cross smoke detectors to come back in the small to uh, smoke detectors in, uh, in uh, homes. We're uh, we're working with them, and uh, we're hoping for a, a February or early March date. 
Uh, the enforcement committee meeting is on Thursday, January 18th at 9.30 a.m. here in Marks Hall. It is open to the public. Uh, notices will go up uh, today uh, on that meeting. The uh, the website, uh, just wanted to thank uh, Secretary Dalton for uh, keeping both websites updated concurrently, which is a very tough thing to do. It took her a lot of hours and a lot of time, and, and we appreciate that. Uh, it's important that we know that the new website going in uh, has a running start, you know, going at it. Um, the uh, FOB system update, all the wiring is in. Uh, they're going to start to install equipment, I believe, tomorrow. And uh, you may see some some uh, doors that uh, may be uh, temporarily open uh, during the daytime for a little while as we switch over systems. But for the most part, uh, the, uh, the changeover should be relatively seamless. Uh, that's going to happen probably in the next two weeks. Um, 732 and 733, the community channels. If you'll notice how clear the uh, channels are, we, we've doubled the resolution on both those channels uh, at a minimum. Uh, a big shout out to our office assistant, Kristen, for doing such a great job with the graphics and the signage and keeping up on that. I think she does a great job there. Um, the county uh, has been working on the fencing here around the uh, uh, water treatment plant. And I believe that is 95% complete. Okay. Uh, and it looks pretty good uh, in that respect. Uh, they are doing the paving right here at the end of our driveway on January 6th. Fingers oh. crossed that actually is a real date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you never know with a county. Mm. Uh, and uh, I believe that is it, sir. Thank you. Great. And the enforcement report is attached to the agenda. I don't know if we need to go over that. Uh, is that on the website also? Yes. No. Uh, not the enforcement. Violation. 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 Our agenda. Let's yeah. switch that yeah. since it's part of the agenda. That's okay. I'm yeah. sorry. I was talking. Uh, it is it, not on. It is not on the website. It's not on the website. But it is on the first. It, the first. Go ahead. It is on the website. Mm -hmm. If you go to an agenda, it's attached to the agenda. Right. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm right. sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's it, they're available. But it's not in a separate. It's not in a yeah. separate position. But I, yeah. I want to make sure. That I want to make it clear. It only appears on the first meeting of the month. Right. Not not if we have two meetings in a month, it's not going to appear on the second agenda. But oh, good because it's a lot of paper. It is yeah. a we, we kill a tree concern. every time we print it. Yes, a lot of paper. <laughs> it's not any more than what you do right there. <laughs> we want to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do we have any un unfinished business? Um, can I just add two things real quick? Sure. Um, anybody who wants to know about the golf cart poker run, if you're not sure if you want to do it or not, we will be at the post office. So you can come and just ask questions about it. There's been a lot of interest in this, and I have no idea how it's going to go. Um, uh, we do need volunteers. So if you don't want to do it, but you want to be involved in the in the event, we can use you. Some stops really need people to help them out. and so please just contact me. And one, we, I've had, we did a trivia game at the New Year's Eve party, and I forgot to give out the answers. <laughs> I don't know how I could forget that. Uh, so this going to be posted at the bulletin board, which is the one right over here. So, you know, if they're wrong, shoot me. I got it from the Internet. You know, that's always right. Um, <laughs> it was fun. So thank yeah. you. Okay. Thank you for the door prizes. Even though I gave mine back. Did I, you win I, again? I did. And I donated it back so somebody else could have it. The okay. registration for the poker run is 11 at? Post office. At the post office. Wednesday okay. through Friday, 11 to one thirty. Okay. This, and, 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 and we did give a door as a door prize. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need to make that a returning. We have plans. <sighs> Engrave, engrave the winner's plans. name we on have, it. We have plans. Okay, if there's nothing else, I'll adjourn the uh, board workshop meeting at 11 o'clock sharp. And with that, I'd like to take a 10-minute recess.
And we'll be back here at 10 minutes after 11. Please shut off your microphones.
Okay. Call to order the uh, regular board meeting for January 2nd, 2024 at 11-11 uh, a.m. here in Marks Hall. Secretary, would you please give the roll call again, please? Sure. Lori Dalton here. Dottie Deerwester. Present. Kathy Gregory. Present. Todd Lombardi. Present. Russell McAllister. Present. Louie Nichols. Cindy O'Brien. Present by Zoom. Rod Smith. Present. Dwayne Trotter. Present. Lee Morris. Okay, Present. with that, we'll jump into public comment on any topic. Happy New Year. Donna Fishburn, 1607 Iowa. I've got two questions. One of them is probably stupid, but um, we love the camera coming up on 733. But I'm very curious as to what that little red spot is. <laughs> it looks, some of it looks like it's like a director's cut board. In the upper, upper right corner? Yeah. That's just a branding of the brand. That's all it is. Oh, okay. Well, well it's motion. I, I believe those cameras are motion. It's just the branding of the company that does the Mike Vision, Mike Vision stuff. Okay. That's all it is. I've seen it too. Yeah, I, 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 that's all it is. Curious. And the second question is: is is there any way to see the cameras if you're not here? That was my other question. The, not not for residents. Okay. Best way to put that. All right. No problem. Just wondering. Thank you. Okay. I guess I'll have the response from the trustee. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Do I have any other public comment? Do I have anybody on Zoom? Hearing none, I'll close public comment. We'll jump right into the uh, approval of minutes. Is there a motion to approve the minutes of the December 18th, 2023 board meeting workshop? So moved. moved. Okay. okay. I'll second. All right. So it's Louie and then Todd. Okay. <clears throat> are there any corrections to those minutes? There are. Um, on page two... Um, on item one, the very last sentence says no further board action is required. I was requested to remove that. And then on page four, under number three, uh, Louie, the third line down all the way to the right, it said um, wages and, and it should be workers' compensation, not wages and. Mm -hmm. Then um, if you go down to uh, number eight, Lori, the line, let's see, one, two, three, four, five down. It starts with and PP43. It should say uh, to list the bulletin board by the ARC office, not just board by the ARC office. And then in number nine, um, the very first line, all the way to the right, I misspelled council. It should be SEL instead of CIL. And then on the last page, um, it was requested that I not abbreviate uh, Kansas and spell it out Kansas Street. I'm sorry, that's on one, two, three, four, the fifth, fifth line down at the left, it starts with input and all the way to the right, Scratch off Kansas and put Kansas, KS and put Kansas Street. Okay, any other corrections? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the uh, minutes as amended, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. <coughs> the minutes are approved. Is there a motion to approve the December 18th regular board meeting um, to approve the regular board meeting? 
minutes. I'll I move. I'll second. Are there any corrections to those minutes? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um all right. It was requested um let's see under approval of minutes um at where it says that Rod made the motion the next line down says 2023 seconded by Louie <clears throat> it was requested that I add the minutes were corrected from input from the trustee and park manager. And my question is, is that necessary? Um, if so, shouldn't it be duplicated for both sets of minutes as there were corrections submitted by whomever? Um, isn't it just understood that corrections come from trustee or and or park manager? Do I need to state it every time? I, I was the one that made those corrections mm -hmm. uh, and I felt that in order to, um, we had to recognize that there was a discussion at this meeting about correcting the minutes and they were discussed and then you approved them as corrected. There was nothing in there that said we discussed them. So yes, we should do it for both. And it just pinpoints a little bit more accurately what happened at the, uh, at the meeting. Okay. You with me? All right. Yep. I got, I got you. So I, but we want them on both. All right. And is and that's something that we'll be doing on a go forward basis, um, or do you want me to just add a discussion followed, and the meetings were corrected? As long as you recognize that there was a discussion on the corrections, we're good, and they were mm. then they were corrected, which you did. Okay, we're fine. We're good. Okay. All right. I'll take care of that. Um, and then uh, there, the way that the paragraph fell. It looks like it's one whole paragraph um, for both sets of minutes. Um, I haven't been doing a double space between the two because generally there's a good gap. Do you want them double space? It was requested that I double space between the approval. It's just a spacing issue. You care? Sometimes it's easier to when you double space. It's easier to. It, it's easy. Take it's a easier. Mm -hmm. It's easier to read. You also see. All right. And I'll, I'll use this one for an example. Right now, if you look at the at the block at the very top where where it says draft, it's real close to the top of the page, and that was to be able to get my signature on the bottom of the second page instead of having to kick into three pages. Mm -hmm. So if you have me double space here, then that throws off my spacing, and either we wind up with three pages pages or we don't have any margins top or bottom or something. I'm trying to save space mm -hmm. to be able to get it on two pages. Do you care? Do you want them on three pages? Look, I couldn't care less. Is there a way that you could have it going up a little bit higher? Take oh, off some, uh, of some of the header space? How much higher can you go? I mean, I'm just, no, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That is the you've, only got, yeah. you've only got a half inch right are, here. Are you using Word? I use, use yeah. For yeah. the minutes? Yeah, you can move that can move top all the margin way. up and the bottom margin down. Thank uh, you. If you do a half inch on the, on top and bottom, I mean it'll move it up and and. I understand that, but I'm telling you, I'm just barely getting my name on this page. So if I double space, now it's creating an issue with spacing. And all I'm asking okay. is when that happens, not every time, but when that happens, can I buy that space back? I think this is really a function of the what's on the agenda. Obviously, if there's more items on the agenda, then you're going to spill over to a third page no matter what, correct? Yeah. So that being said, yeah. uh, you're having there's two votes that are occurring here, and there should be a space to delineate the two votes. Uh, All right, uh, in that respect, the, and the voting that's that's fine. That's important enough. That's fine. If it if it flips to three pages, it flips to three pages. I'll, I can I can live with that. Okay, so those those were the corrections that I had. You want me to go through them again so you know no. what they are? No, I've okay. got them. Okay, I can whip through them real fast. Okay, if there's no other corrections, uh, all those in favor of approving the minutes as correct, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. Minutes are approved. I'm going to copy off your paper. Go ahead. Jumping into the uh, 
Treasurer's report, Lewis. Okay, the current balance in the region's business checking account is $71,800.65. The balance in the uh, region's money market account is $2,028,106.56. And that consists of uh, money from the Seawall loan of $176,129.53. The money from the Trailer Estates Fire Control District of $271,350.20. And the Special Assessment Fund, $26,358.77. And then our um, operating funds and reserve is $1,554,268.06. Okay. Uh, do I have a motion to approve the treasurer's report? So moved. Second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the treasury report is read. Please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. Okay, approval of bills. None. None. With that, we'll jump into the uh, agenda of items. The first item we have there was revised PP23, uh, the outdoor storage lot rules. Don't do it. Mm -mm. I got it over here. Uh, I make a motion to approve the PP23 outdoor storage lot rules as discussed in the workshop at 1218 and again in January 2nd, 2024. I'll second that. Dwayne, do I have those originals or do you have those originals? You have them. You sent them to me. Okay. All right. Uh, Rod, you second that? Yep. Yes. Any further discussion? All those in favor of approving the motion is read. Please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. The motion is approved. Uh, the second item we had was the create the rules and regs for Part F, special rules governing the signage. Lori? No. I think it was Lori. Yeah. No, I've got PP37A, reservation for function rules. That's what I've got. Mine. I only did that on a workshop. Oh, yeah. I'll bring it back at the next board meeting to create F. Well, doesn't that just cross me? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. You're on that old sheet. Are you on the workshop instead of the board meeting? No, I got it. I just okay. had, I, I just typed it right. In no worries. No worries. Okay. Right. The next item then would be update uh, PP20. I'm sorry, 37A, the reservation function form. Yep. I make a motion to update PP37A reservation for function form rules to include the statement FOBs will, FOBs will be required after dusk as discussed at the workshop on December 18th, 2023. I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving the motion is read, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. The motion is passed. What's the next one? <laughs> Uh, the next thing we have is the recurring monthly expense approvals. Lewis? I make a motion to approve items that are required to be paid, dispersed, or purchased in the course of normal park, park operations. Many items under contract and have already been approved by the board of, at inception. I'll second that. Now we, now, now we changed all this. Uh, I, was gonna, I think uh, we're going to have to change that as yeah. amended yes. from the January 2nd, 2020. So I'd like to workshop. amend that motion. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting good. Okay. Uh, we read the whole thing with the amendment. You have to read okay. the whole thing and then at the okay. tail end of what's there, say as amended in the. Okay. 
January so 1st. I make a motion to approve items that are required to be paid, dispersed, or purchased in the course of normal park operations. Many items are under contract and have already been approved by the board at inception. Based on chain, uh, the attachment presented and changed in the workshop. 2224. And don't forget the date. January 2nd. January 2nd, 2024. Do I have a second? Okay. Hang on. I haven't got this yet. Okay. And I need to be the one that seconds it to keep it clean. That's yeah, right. You already had. Okay. So, because you didn't just say as amended, you said based on attachment, amended, presented, presented, presented and amended in the workshop. Presented and I'm in the January 2nd, 2024 workshop. workshop. All right. And I'll second that again. Okay. Any further amended. discussion? All those in favor of approving the motion as amended, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. The motion is passed. <clears throat> Can I give me just a second? Okay. This is what I'm going to attach to the minutes. Is that what we agreed on? <laughs> and then 2,500 per event. Per event. Yep, I agree. Okay, thank you. I'll make sure that get, that's what's attached to the All minutes right. then. Thank you. Thank you. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Okay, the last item we have then is the seawall assessment prepayment. Mr. Nichols. Make a motion to offer the trailer estate's property owners a second and final opportunity to prepay the balance of their special assessment for the marina seawall renovation and to authorize the treasurer to prepare and mail notices for such opportunity. I'll, I'll second that. Russell? I'd like to amend that motion as well. Okay. I make a motion. You ready? Yeah. I make a motion to offer the trailer estate's property owners a second and final opportunity to prepay the balance of their special assessment for the Marina seawall renovation and to authorize the treasurer to prepare and mail notices for such opportunity as prescribed in resolution 2022-02 section 3.05 part D. 3.05 D? Yes. Is it a capital D, small d, parentheses around it? Uh, Large D with a oh, it's capital make, D with parentheses. Look it up. It, okay. Yeah, it's attached. Okay. The resolution is attached. Mm -hmm. right. And workshop. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you said as prescribed? As prescribed in resolution 2022 02. Okay. And do you need a date on that? Mm -hmm. The resolution? Because it's got mm -hmm. a number. No, it's got, a, it's got a date and a number. You don't yeah. need that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Russell, you'll second. I'll second that. Sorry. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the motion as amended, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. The motion is passed. Okay. Do we have any uh, final? Comments from the trustees? Oh, I have a comment. You betcha. So just in case you wonder what kind of place we live in, Sunday morning I woke up and went to put something in the recycling bin and found my wallet on the top stair coming out of my kitchen. And uh, I had gone to ridden my bike over to a friend's house to watch the Lions game and came back and I saw it. I didn't realize my wallet was missing until I found out the next morning and I thought, I don't see it likely that I dropped it out of there and I posted on Facebook and uh, found out that Mr. Ed McCormick had found my wallet on Bay Drive and brought it over and dropped it off at the house with all the money and credit cards still in it. Bay Drive. So thank you very much, Ed. <laughs> we have some decent people in trailer yes, estates. We yes, we do. Thank you very much. Okay. Any other comments? Hearing none, with that, I'm going to adjourn the uh, board meeting for January 2nd at 1130 a.m. here in Marks Hall. Thank you very much. Please turn off your mics. <laughs> <laughs>